suddenly. What is a miracle? I want to share this with you and then I'm going to pray. A miracle is the intervention of God in the affairs of man. The intervention of a sovereign God in the affairs of human beings. Tonight, this is what God's going to do. He's going to interfere in your body. He's going to put his right hand in, change organs, get the blood in line, put some bones in, put eardrums in, put eyes in, put everything in, whatever you need. He's going to, the miracle power of God is the intervention of God in the human affairs of people. Where their things are impossible, impossibilities attract the presence of God. We were in Argentina. Pastor Maldonado was there. A lady that had no finger, lost her finger in the glory of God. Nobody prayed for her. In the glory of God, the finger grew back with a perfect nail, everything. When I prayed this afternoon, I said, God, give us creative miracles. I believe breasts are going to grow back. going to shoot out again like in the days of old the former revivals and the latter revivals combined is going to be more powerful where there's no arms it's going to be poured out how many of you believe it can happen God wants to do special miracles through the hands of the apostles and the people in this place listen you can either see a miracle you can receive a miracle or you can work a miracle say with me I want to be a miracle worker now I'm coming in for the close of this message Jesus's ministry and his life was confirmed by miracles what is the purpose of miracles Christianity without miracles is just another religion. Now, I don't want to offend people, but I just want to say that a Buddhist, they don't go to the mosque expecting a deaf ear to open and expecting a blind eye to see and expecting a wheelchair, or somebody who's paralyzed to get out of a wheelchair. They don't go to the mosque expecting the power of God. The Muslims don't go to their mosque on a Friday and when they pray, and I'm going to go to the mosque and I'm going to see signs, wonders, and miracles. No? Christianity is defined by the power of doing miracles. If we don't do miracles as believers, what credibility do we have? Christianity is based upon miracles. Say this with me, my faith as a Christian is based on miracles. Do you believe it? Your Savior, His birth was supernatural. His whole ministry was supernatural. He walked on water, fed thousands of people, raised people from the dead. Come on, I mean, He was just a supernatural God. His death was supernatural. And then His resurrection was supernatural when I went with Dr. Andre my wife and myself and Dr. Jenny to Israel we went into the tomb and it was so an, such an amazing experience when we walked into the tomb we looked at the at the, the slab Jesus was laying on and then when you turn around there's a big sign that says he's not here he is alive he is alive Jesus Christ is not dead Jesus Christ, your God, your Savior, is alive. He still does miracles. He is yesterday, today, and forever the same God. Shout amen if you believe it. And now not only was his death or his, his birth, his death, his resurrection supernatural, but his ascension. Was supernatural you believe you're going to to heaven one day 
Do you think heaven is just a place or do you think it's a supernatural? It must be supernatural. God is there. So if we don't have, if we don't operate in miracles, we have nothing to offer this generation. Signs, wonders and miracles and the gifts of the Holy Spirit is available to us. To move in the supernatural, we must disconnect from reason. Let me say this. If a person sits in front of me in a wheelchair or a person is deaf or blind, if I am in the natural, it, it messes with my mind. Even if I've done it a hundred thousands of times, I still have to switch off the natural and see that he can see and, and, and see that in my spiritual eye that he can hear that he's going to get out of the wheelchair. I have to go past the natural into the realm of faith. So you must understand when you're going to pray for people, don't look and don't listen to what they say. They're going to say, I've got an incurable disease. That's fine. Immediately you shift into the realm of faith and say, by the stripes of Jesus Christ, this person is healed. He's going to get out of this wheelchair. So don't operate in reason. So I'm not going to operate in reason. So I'm not going to operate in reason. Miracles breaks the law of the natural. It breaks the law of reason and of science. We had a little boy that ha was diagnosed with, um, it was a syndrome, cerebral palsy syndrome baby, born like that. Over television, Dr. Andre, they watched the program and the boy got healed. They showed us the pictures before and after, completely pulled right. Scientifically, you can't explain that. It doesn't make sense. Because miracle working power of God is not there for you to reason it out. It will not make sense because God is a supernatural God. How do you explain a person that died, got resurrected after four days? How do you explain that? It is a supernatural move of God. Say this with me, miracles is for the now. Miracles, listen, is the sign language of God. <laughs> That's the sign language of God. Write this down. Miracles is the evidence of the love of God. Miracles is the evidence of the love of God. He heals you and He delivers you. He brings a miracle to you for this reason that he loves you if you are an earthly father and you know how to do good how much not more your heavenly father i am not going to take my son and put him here and say i want to put cancer upon you because i want to teach you a lesson stand here i want to drive over you so that you can get so i can teach you a lesson some people come with the craziest things they lay in hospital with a drip paying five thousand rand UK uh, pounds, dollars, laying in hospital with drips, nurses feeding them jelly and custard. And they say, God just wants me to rest a little bit. Listen, I can rest in Mauritius or Hawaii. Not with a drip and a sister coming with an injection and giving me jelly and custard that's not that's not rest for me i don't know about you we can enter into the rest of god we can enter into perfect health I, i'm speaking to somebody here you're going to live a long life satisfied life happy life a life full of the presence of god in my body is the resurrection of christ living inside of me so say this i'm going to pray i'm going to pray say this miracles is the is the sign language of God. Miracles is the evidence that God loves me. He loves you. And miracles is the evidence that God exists in the now. Let us stand all across this place. Those of you watching, 
This is now the moment that miracles are going to take place. And the power of God is going to touch you. Get away from the reasoning. Now God can't do this. The doctor said this. No. Let's get away from that. Believe the word of God. Believe what I've preached. Believe that God is the same yesterday and today and forever. And he wants to heal you. It's a bit soft. The miracles, the five miracles of the kingdom. There's five miracles of the kingdom. The five miracles of the kingdom is that the deaf shall hear. The blind shall see. The mute shall speak. The cripples shall walk. And the casting out of demons. That's the five miracles of the kingdom. Jesus operated in those five. <clears throat> From this night... Today, you're going to start operating in the five miracles of the kingdom. You're going to be activated to do miracles, signs, and wonders. Are you ready for this? You ready for this? And those of you watching, you're going to be activated by the power of God. I want you to close your eyes and raise your right hand and say this with me. Say, Father God, today I believe you are the God of miracles miracles are for the now today I become a miracle worker my hands is your hands my mouth is your mouth I believe miracles signs wonders shall follow me I am a believer I believe in the resurrection I believe in the word I believe in the blood I believe I am now activated to operate in signs wonders miracles everywhere I go I will do miracles in Jesus name now just praise him with your mouth come on appropriate the supernatural power of God. Now, this is what we're going to do for the sake of time. I want every sick person in this building, pain, sickness, disease, whatever, when you get out of your chairs and come to the front. And then, while you come, I want the, uh, yeah, first you come. Bible college students, get yourselves ready. Pastors, get yourselves ready. Men of God, you're going to get yourselves ready. We're going to see the power of God flowing now. Doesn't matter what the sickness or the disease is, come. Those of you watching on television, online, I want you to write this very moment. Type in what's the problem, what's the disease, the sickness name how long you've had it because the power of God in five minutes there's going to be a wave God showed me five minutes a window period of five minutes that is going to pour out his supernatural presence to heal people that's what's going to happen let's get everybody in as, even if they go down all the way This is why we need the supernatural power of God. Because if it's not there, you would all go back home sick. The supernatural power of God is there to supply the needs of the people. Can I ask all the Bible college students to come out and stand in front of them? I want my sons to come out, all the pastors of the church. And then I want some people... I'll tell you how many people we still need after this. Just come and stand in front of each person. I want to see how many people we're going to still need. Stand in front of them, not behind them, stand in front of them. Stand in front of them. Stand 
If you do not have anybody in front of you, raise your right hand. There's a whole second row. Anybody. Ten people in that block, ten people in this block, ten people in this block, ten people in that block. Come, come. Those of you who say, I can't do this, I want you to come. I want you to come. Come, come. Stand in front of them. I'm not asking for perfect people. I want you to come, 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 come. Pastor oh, Andre, you don't have to. Sure. Come. Can I have some of these ladies? Come. They're in the back. Come, help me minister. I want to demonstrate. We need to demonstrate. All right. If you do not have somebody in front of you, then raise your right hand. Let me see. One, two, three. They're in that block and have three people. So you with the orange pullover, come. Come. With the orange, yeah. You. Yeah, come. Come pray for somebody here. Put your hand down if you have somebody. If you don't have somebody, raise your right hand quickly. There's one more lady there. Just stand there. Anybody just stand with that lady with the white hat. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to help you. This is what I want you to listen to me the anointing and the breakthroughs in the instruction that's the key here the presence of god is here you're not going to do anything so don't stress don't worry jesus christ is the healer but this is what i want you to do and those on television get somebody in your family to to stand with you to be with you if you're alone it's fine but for five minutes the power of god is going to fall and we're going to see how the power of god is touching people all over this place now these workers and leaders and Bible college students, ask the person in front of you what is wrong with them. Ask them. Tell them, ask them what's the sickness name, what's the problem's name. Those of you on television, quickly write down, uh, email us, go on Facebook, phone in. There's a number on the, on the line, on the screens. Phone those numbers. Wherever you're watching around the world, people are waiting. We want to know what's wrong. Okay, you've done that? Second question, second question. Don't pray. Just sorry, just don't hang on. Ask them what's wrong. Secondly, ask them how long have they had it? Now you can take their hands. And now we're gonna pray. I am gonna pray first, and after I've prayed. I want you to pray with them and you bind that demon, you bind that sickness. I'm going to pray first. You'll just listen, pray softly in the Holy Ghost while I pray. After I've prayed, you start praying for them. Some of them are going to fall. Pick them up. Don't, nobody goes back to their seats. You get back up, you stand like that. If you don't fall, you just remain standing like that. And I want the Bible college students, the leaders, you must minister healing. So you can, if they don't get healed, you pray again until you get a miracle. Okay? That's, it's the working of miracles. You have to work it sometimes. All right. So the rest of the congregation, would you please lift your hands towards these people? And would you please stand if you don't mind? Because they, they need prayer. And you are now activated. So we need your prayers to come. And I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost for them. You pray for whatever God lays upon your heart. I'm going to pray for you online. And now, from this very moment on, this service is in the hands of the living God. And you're going to see mighty signs, wonders, and miracles right now. Five minutes, the power of God. The window is open. The portal of heaven is open. It's now pouring. Miracles are pouring. Organs are coming down. Bones are coming down. Diseases are going. Infirmities are going. So now let's pray. Let's start praying for them. Close your eyes. Sebra mondo lo bosene. Let's pray. Sobra ma sebre mende le besanda. Libra ma sako to robo se kebre mende le besanda. La magando robo sebre mende le besende. Riba sata la maganda la baraba sonde le begende le besanda. La magando robo sende. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come in the authority of Jesus Christ. 
I come in the full authority of Jesus. I take authority over every sickness, over every disease, over every infirmity, over every pain in that body, every discomfort. Right now, in the name that is above every name, in that name of Jesus, I come now and I bind you on this earth. I bind you in that body. Tell spirit of sickness, come out of them. Tell spirit of disease, come out. Pain, come out. Tell spirit of cancer, sugar diabetes, atheritis. I come against you in the power of the Holy Ghost. Glaucomia, deafness, crippleness. Those who are mute in the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke your works. Come out. Loose them now. I command every growth to disappear. Every migraine code right now in the name of Jesus. I come against you in the authority of Christ. The work of the cross cancels every other demonic work. Now in Jesus' name. Now pray for them. Pray for them. Pray for them. Shall lay hands upon them. Shoprava. Lay hands on that place where the sickness is. Keep on praying, family. Oh, miracles are happening. Open the ears. Open the eyes. Put bones in place. Demons, come out. Come on, miracles are happening. It's flowing, it's flowing. Take your miracle at your home. Take your miracle at your home right now. Take your miracle. Appropriate the miracle with the power of God. I release it upon your body. Paralysis, go. Jesus' name. All right. Now this is what you're going to do. Listen to the instruction. Now you're going to ask the, th ask the third question. This is what you're going to ask them now. To do something they couldn't do before. That's the third question. And now you need to test them. Let them bend. Close the good ear. Test the, the bad ear. Let them start seeing. Come on, do something. They must move. Stuff must happen. Come on, miracles are here. I'm telling you, it's crazy. Dad, you're home. Test yourself. Get out of that wheelchair. Get out of that bed. Test it. See where's the pain. After you've tested yourself, quickly phone the lines. Go on Facebook. Tell us what's happening. Quickly email us. Everywhere, wherever you can. Come and tell us now what Jesus Christ is doing in the lives of people. Right now, quickly. All right, now, if they are healed, this is what you're going to do. You're going to take them by the hand, and from this, mo from here, look at me, from here, if you are on this side and you are healed, you go to the left, from this side here, if you are healed, you move to the right, and my workers and my sons are going to ask you what, you know, to bring you on the, on the platform. We're going to testify. And, and so sons, get us the best miracles. Ask around, show me where's the best miracles. And we're going to testify of what Jesus has done. Let's get the miracles. Come on, we're going to testify now. Come up. 
Are you here? They're going to pray for you there. All right. Let me just make sure. I want every person who's healed. Come stand here, Pastor. Pastor Banda, just wave your hand. If you are healed, come stand here. Come. If you are healed, come line up here. Come line up. Sons, find out the best miracles. Ask each person the best miracles. That side, quickly. This side. Come on. Let's clap our hands, the rest of us. Come on. Everybody. Send us your prayer request. Send us your testimony. Send us your testimony quickly. Right now, on Facebook, we have 55 healings that has taken place so far. Come on, this is what's happening across the airwaves. 55 miracles already happening on Facebook. Come on, if you have a miracle phone in, the power of God is here. Let's start bringing the people up. Let's start getting the, the testimonies up. Let's start going. All right. Now we want to hear the testimonies. Apostle Nikki, this is Maria. She had uh, diabetes for three years. She's been having that. And that caused her, her, her feet to be stiff. She couldn't move them. And then Dr. Jenny prayed for her. Now she can move her feet. Come she on. couldn't do this before. She couldn't do that before. For three years, she couldn't do it. For, for three years, three years. Your, your, your feet were stiff, right? Yeah. So you couldn't move it at all like no. that. And is all the pain gone? Yes. Well, jump a little bit. Look at this. After three years, we serve a supernatural God. Hallelujah. Let me hear Vanda. Apostle Nikki, this is Charmaine. She had arthritis for many years. She couldn't lift her knees, and now she can move her legs up wow. and down. The many, many years. Many years. Couldn't do that. Not a pain. Step is God. Come on. God is healing us arthritis here tonight. Woo. What's it? Said? This woman was in an accident in 2015. Doctors put metal in a leg and in the arm. She couldn't move. She was immobile, couldn't kneel, couldn't bend. Now she's open. She kneeled down. Let me see. Go down. She couldn't do that. She couldn't do that. She couldn't do that before. No, no. Let me hear what happened. I want, I want to hear. Was it a car accident? Accident. In 2015. 2015. And then what, what did they put in and where did they put it in? On my right leg. My Your right leg and arm. Yeah. All steel. And you couldn't move. Even my ankle. Your now I can't feel no pain. No, there's no pain now. No pain. No pain. You can move. Come on. Four years ago, car accident tonight. I'm telling you, Katie, God is healing that. that he turned that steel into flesh, man. Apostle Nikki, this is Barry. For the past three weeks, he has not been able to move his right collarbone, his right shoulder because of a broken collarbone. Now he's completely he healed. Look at this. Broken collarbone being healed. Let's hear the dismiss. Yes, son. Apostle, this is Marion. She, just after her 20s, was discovered to have a degenerative disease in her spine. Two it? accidents, mm -hmm. pain in her spine, in her shoulders. God touched her tonight. What was the disease called? Uh, it was just said degenerative. Generative disease. Right. That's all it was. In the bones, in the body. In the whole spine. The whole spine. And then discovered it after my first car accident and I was 22. I'm 59. Wow. <laughs> what couldn't you do before? You couldn't do that. Come on. Praise God. Creative miracle of God. Woo. Praise the Lord. Apostle Nikki. This is Aunt Denisa. She had an ear problem and she had the vertigo, the vertigo. And then as a result, she couldn't actually, when the drums are going like this, it would cause a pain in her ear. But now the pain is gone and oh, she can hear everything properly now without the pain. There's no discomfort. Um, the noise is still there. The waves, that noisy sound is still in the ear. But the pain of when the drums play and I have to close my ears or some, no one can speak into my ear or even like open a packet of chips when you're next to me because it's extremely painful. 
but I tested it earlier with the worship team when the drums went so loud and I closed my one ear and that pain was gone and the lady that was playing with me, she was actually in my ear. Normally I would like get violent and just push people away or something and it didn't hurt. It was no pain. No pain. Let's heal that noise as well. Let the noise be healed. Hallelujah. Thank you. This lady was diagnosed with cervical cancer last year, September, and tonight they prayed for her. She said she could not stand for long. Her legs would always pain, and tonight she felt a relief, and now she can, like, start moving her legs. She can stand for long. Tell me, was it cancer? It was a cervical cancer. Cervical cancer. And then my womb is already damaged because the pee is running. I'm using the hard case for the pee all the time since last year, September. And then now when I was standing here, I feel like my legs, there is something coming in my legs because I've, I all, I always feeling that the juice is gone off my legs, but now I can feel there's something happened to me. So all the pain is gone. Lift your hands. Thank you for a complete miracle, God. In Jesus' name. There it is. Never again. Where is that man that we prayed for on Tuesday night, I think? That was uh, in that truck accident. Come here. You need to testify, man. Oh. Okay, this year. Let's see what's happening on Facebook. 79 healings. Come on, in that time period, 79 healings. One WhatsApp miracle so far. I'm telling you, Jesus is healing people around the world. Apostle, this lady, she had an operation last year, April, if, if cavical infusion. She needed to walk with a stick for 12 months since last year, April. God touched her tonight. She doesn't need to walk with a stick anymore. God has supernaturally healed her. God has supernaturally touched her. Can we give Jesus a good praise tonight? Come on, for all these miracles. Let me hear quickly. Get that man up that was healed. Let me hear quickly here. Yeah. Apostle Nikki, this is Mam Kunjula. She had her cartilage in her knees is completely gone. So as a result, whenever she was walking, it would be painful. She couldn't even lift her knees. But right now, as you can see, lift your knees, Mama. Show him, show him, show him. Lift your knees up. There we go. Couldn't do that. She couldn't do that before, and now it's she doesn't feel the pain is completely gone, and oh, she can do it. Praise Jesus. Come on, he's a wonderful God. Amen. All right, you were, we were prayed for you. Come help me. Uh, I know, let me ask you the question. We prayed for you on Tuesday. Yes, sir. You prayed for me on Tuesday. So this night. is now Thursday. Yes, sir. I don't know what happened. Tell me if there is What there happened, better? I went home on Tuesday night and I slept because this thing has been happening for long. I had a kind of time. I said, but God, if you healed me, then I'm free. So I slept like a baby peacefully. And uh, normally at 5 a.m. I woke up. And the first thing I did, I, ran, I, I took my, my hand and I reached for my underneath to to hear my word or not on my underwear and I was dry. And again last night, and I woke up this morning for two days now. It's not happened in 29 years. Come on, this is a great miracle. Woo! How does the heat feel? Um, since you prayed for me, I like I've, I had incredible strength on my hip. It's, it's like the both side, it's like the, on my the right one. Since I was, I was knocked on my left, but it's like nothing, I, it's like no accident happened before. I'm completely healed and I thank God in Jesus' name. Give Jesus the praise here tonight. Come on. It's here. This is Auntie Magdalena. This is Auntie Magdalena. She could not turn for about two years. She could not move her head. She could not turn anything. And now the pain is completely gone. She can turn her head and it's all gone. Wow. Completely healed by the power of God. Why couldn't you turn your head? What happened? I don't know. It's... I don't know if it's arthritis or what. And you couldn't move your neck? No. Do it. Let me see how you do it now. No pain? You couldn't lift your arms? No. Come on now, Jesus is the healer. All right. All right, Apostle, this, this young man, he's, uh, he was in a car, he was in an accident seven years ago. He has had three operations that has worsened the, the injury. And tonight they prayed for him, and now he can move his leg up and down with do no that. pain. He couldn't do this before. Couldn't do that at all, eh? So let's go high, man. Let me see how high you can. No pain. 
Come on, let's give Jesus a praise. Your God is healing hips and bones and muscles here tonight. I want two more. JJ, give me two more of the best ones there, this side. Apostle Nikki, this is Yaku. He had a muscle spasm disease in his hands. He could not keep them straight. Oh, and really? now, as you can show him, I can show it's happening. Right there. Hands are not what shaking. Was it, was it both hands? Yeah. It was a uh, Huntington's disease. Heal of Huntington's. Wow. Uh, Does it affect your whole system? Yeah, yeah. The whole body. Whole body. Yeah. But I only started with symptoms a few months ago. And by the shaking yes. of your hands. Yes. And show me again. Right. Nothing. Nothing. It wasn't like that. Well, then Jesus is healing you. Lift your hand. Do you realize this miracle here? When God touches the nervous system, I f when I pray today, God said to me, I'm going to heal people who's got missing chromosomes. So if you have a missing chromosome, I want you to... to Believe God for your miracle. Go to the doctor, test it, and then send us the report. Jesus Christ is healing you right now. Yes. We're going to worship God just after this and give him thanks for what he has done. Pastor Nikki, this is Keith. This is Keith with me here. He is 70 years old. In 2006, his heart started defibrillating inc incorrectly. He had three heart surgeries, major heart surgeries, after to try and correct the problem. It started double beating. And since 2006, it has been double beating. I can tell you right now, his heartbeat is perfect <laughs> and it is on par with the resting heartbeat of most professional athletes. I don't, I don't know about you, but we can praise the Lord for this miracle. Lift your hands, sir. Never again, long life in Jesus' name. I want to go to Tando quickly at the telephone lines. Let's, let's hear what's happening there. Let, let's, let, let's hear the testimonies of people phoning in while we're getting more and more testimonies here on Facebook. Quickly, let's go there. Tando, tell us what's happening there. Apostle Nikki, it is absolutely electric in this place. The phones are going buck wild. There is Regina who's calling from Cape Town who had osteoarthritis pain in her leg and her hips and she says it's all gone. She is moving. There's Miss Makabo in Gauteng who had back pain and couldn't bend to touch her knees for the longest time and now she's completely healed. There's Alfred in PE who had pain in his right arm and couldn't li lift anything heavy and now he actually can. He says I'm completely healed and moreover his hand used to hurt when he opened and closed it but now there's no pain whatsoever and last but certainly not least I mean there's so many piling up there's Mary who had a swollen belly since 2013 she says she was convinced she was pregnant and every time she went to check there's no baby whatsoever that's how huge it was and now she says the belly has shrunk back it is flat again it is so good to have a flat stomach that's exciting praise God Hallelujah. Let's hear one more. So, Nikki, this is Nolu. She couldn't smell for 10 years. She had sinus problems. Tonight, God opened her nose and she can smell the oil. Does it smell nice? It smells nice, yes. Wow, that's amazing, isn't it? That's the Lord. We serve a great God. Father, thank you that you keep her healed in Jesus' name. Come, last one. I want you to stand with me. We're going to worship God and we're going to come in for a close stomach. Apostle Nikki, this is Miss Jessie. She had collapsed vertebrae in her back, so they put a plate in her, in her neck. So they put a plate as well as pins and needles in there and screws to hold it down. Every time she would turn her neck, it was painful, but God healed her and she can't feel a thing when she turns her head. Show, 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 Apostle. Tell me, yeah, show us. You couldn't do that? And also 11% hearing loss in both ears. And your ears are also open. <laughs> Come on, metal in the back. She couldn't turn her neck. And deaf, well, how many, how many percent? 11% in both Ele ears. 11% in both ears. ears. And you can hear, it popped open. Let's lift our hands all over this place. Come on, we serve the I am. I don't know about you, but we serve the great I am. This is a proof that Jesus Christ is still Lord of Lords, King of Kings. He is the I Am. Come on. He's Yahweh. Let's sing it together tonight. Yahweh. 